Valentine's Day is around the corner and I was so excited to decorate my dining room table with a Valentine's Day themed tablescape. I still wanted to keep it pretty modern and minimal with the coloring. I just wanted to go for some more neutral whites with like some pops of pink. And I'll have everything I'm sharing linked below, but basically my whole tablescape is Amazon Finds, my table runner, these gold chargers that I use throughout the entire year. I use them for my holiday tablescapes as well. And then these are a set of really high quality plastic plates that look basically like ceramic plates. I love them so much. So I just set up the table with all of these. And along with that, I love this gold plastic utensil set. It also looks super high quality. It looks like real metal, but it's a super affordable price point, especially if you're having a large gathering for basically any event, if you're doing a Valentine's Day brunch, Galentine's Day brunch. And then I found this garland. It is very hard to find really high quality garland that is affordable. So I just did a lot of searching on Amazon and I came across this garland that has these like little mini roses and also eucalyptus this would actually be beautiful for like wedding centerpieces but it's a really full gorgeous garland that I can use throughout the springtime as well and then I have my flameless candles that I love to use for my tablescapes my table is very large it's nine feet long so honestly decorating it with a lot of big centerpieces can get very pricey so i tend to go for a more minimal look since it's more affordable and that way i can switch up my table throughout the year and i just love the look i also like how practical it is to have a really low centerpiece so you can see the people across the table and you don't have like a big centerpiece in the way. So that's basically my tip to save money and also be a little bit practical with your centerpieces. And then on Amazon, I got this set of faux baby's breath that looks gorgeous. It's super realistic. And I just cut a few of the flowers to put them into my napkin rings and just have like a little pop of color, a little floral touch. These flowers are gorgeous, like the full stems that I purchased. I'm going to put the rest of them in like a big vase. And then these are just some faux silk rose petals, which are perfect for Valentine's Day. It's super, super affordable and they honestly look like real roses. They come in a ton of different colors. This was my favorite part of the table. I feel like it just tied everything together. Since I wanted to keep the colors pretty minimal, like the roses really added that kind of Valentine's Day look. And then here is how it turned out. I love how it's romantic and classic and timeless and minimal. And I like to avoid any kind of holiday decor that's like too cheesy or cutesy. So I just wanted to keep it pretty simple. Valentine's Day isn't such a huge holiday, but I still wanted to add some Valentine's Day touches throughout my home. And if you happen not to be a fan of the faux florals and faux greenery, don't worry because we're going to move into a flower arrangement with some real flowers. So when it comes to making a floral arrangement, I like to get as many flowers as possible for as little as possible. I could of course get like five dozen roses. They would be gorgeous, but they would also be like $200. So I wanted to spend around $25 for these flowers. I love hydrangeas especially. They're always like a really nice bulky flower to have in my arrangements. And then I just filled it up with some daisies and a few different kind of filler flowers. I do wish that I got one more pack of hydrangeas just to make it a little bit more full, but I just wanted to grab some more pink flowers and just kind of do like really blush pinks, whites and everything in between. I honestly could not tell you the name of every single one of these flowers, but I really just like to be playful with my floral arrangements. I know they're not going to be, you know, featured in a wedding or something. So I like to kind of mix and match and try out different ideas every time. I'm so excited to start playing with some more floral arrangements for the springtime. And then I'll also link my floral vase below. It's from West Elm. And then lastly, we're moving into my favorite thing when it comes to Valentine's Day, which is 
a brunch idea so i am starting off with some waffles i found this mini waffle maker on amazon for only ten dollars it is such a favorite find of mine for this year because it is so easy to make waffles from scratch um, they only take about a minute each so I was able to make like nine or ten waffles in under ten minutes I ended up freezing them to keep them throughout the week and just pop them in the toaster and I also did half of them with chocolate chips and then once the waffles were all complete we moved into my favorite part which was assembling a waffle breakfast board this is just such a fun idea that I've always seen on a Pinterest. I always love to make charcuterie boards, so it was fun to make more of like a sweet breakfast version. You could add whatever you want. You could add savory items like eggs, bacon, sausages. But I wanted to stick to the Valentine's Day theme and add in a lot of fruit, especially pink and red fruit, like grapefruits, strawberries, raspberries. I also added in some strawberry yogurt, some granola, and some maple syrup my little spoons that i have in my yogurt and syrup and everything i'll have it linked below too i feel like they just add like really cute decorative touches but this was so simple to make i want to make this all the time i feel like it's just a nice way to present a breakfast to a larger group of people and it's super easy it gives people a lot of options as well so definitely try that out because it looks like it takes so much longer than it really does and it's just such a fun way to change up breakfast for the holiday but that's gonna be everything for today's video i'll leave all of the items i mentioned below and if you liked it make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll talk to you soon in my next video thank you so much for watching bye